Um, so today I'm going to show you how to make a knife target. This knife target in particular was inspired by Ralph Thorne um, DVD. It's called Combat Knife Throwing, the video. How to make this. You need five two by sixes. These have been pre-cut and stained by my weapon instructor, Michael Palaquin. Thank you. Um, originally these were eight feet, but they've been cut to be six foot by eight inches, about the size of the door. And also, you need ah, two by fours, two two by fours that measure 30 inches across. So one will be nailed up here and one will be nailed down here. What I've done here is lay down the, uh, the boards, um, stain side down because this is the part where I'm going to nail. And also, they've been lined up according to how well they fit together. Um, if you notice, I don't know if you can see it, but they've been numbered. Um, by plank and from side and the reason my instructor did that is because he figured out that this is the best way they fit together so if you're trying this at home make sure that you just figure out what ways fit best and you might need to move the planks around so okay so what I've done here is lay my two by four perpendicular across my five planks um, it's around one foot from the end of my target and what I'm gonna do is nail four nails um, into my 2x4 for each plank. So in the end, I should have 20 nails going through this 2x4. Uh, first thing you need to remember is not to nail too far to the end of the plank because if you do that, the wood will split. Okay, so my goal is to compete in the Cold Steel Knife Throwing Challenge next year. And to do that, I'm going to set up my target like the targets are set up at the Cold Steel Challenge. So the first thing I'm going to do is make my first bullseye, which is going to be 52 inches from the bottom all the way to right here. And using my makeshift compass, I'm going to do a 6 inches in diameter circle, and this is a 3 inch radius. That has to be the worst circle ever. I'm gonna try a different way where I'm just gonna measure three inches from here, make a, uh, a line, and three inches from here, and three inches from there, and so on, and then just connect the dots, and hopefully I should have a nice circle. So I finished painting, and if you notice, the stain bled through, I guess, uh, for future reference, if you want to stain something in little circles, you should lay it flat and just um, paint it. Uh, however, um, I still like the effect, um, kind of reminds me of uh, blood, <laughs> which is awesome. Anyways, so all I have to do is wait for the paint to dry, and then I can throw. Okay, so, jeez, go. 
of within for each plank. Damn it! Butters, I'm sorry! 